not a sea trail cuts across the entire state of North Carolina. Segment 10 of the trail is about 80 miles that goes right through the Triangle area where we live. We've been using our quarantine weekends to hike different pieces of Segment 10. During the first day, we hiked from Eno River State Park over to Penny's Bend. And then during day two, we started over at Penny's Bend and hiked over to Hickory Hill Boat Ramp. It was a pretty cool hike, but it had rained a lot recently, so it was very flooded, and we lost the trail in a few different parts. And then ironically, we forgot our own water, so we got a bit dehydrated, but it was still a lot of fun. Where are we? We're back on the MS Mountains to Sea Trail. We're continuing where we left off Sunday. And we are started at Penny's Bend, and we'll be yep, and we will be going to Hickory Boat Ramp, which is by map it says about 11 and a half miles. This time, we're not going to be following the river as much. I think we're going to bump into the river here in a little bit, but for right now, we're just walking in the woods. Okay, we're hiking on the trail still. About three miles in, a little bit over probably. The river's still over there and it flows into Lake Falls Newt's Lake. And what have we seen on this trail, Kristen? Lots of frogs. Lots of frogs. Lots of webs. Yeah, tons of webs. I don't have my good stick. We just passed a campsite. That was cool, yeah. We passed the first campsite, which would have been a lot of miles because we did 18 and a half yesterday without seeing any. And it, we're about three miles in on my watch, and we saw a campsite about 100 yards off the trail. So that was kind of neat. We're out here, and we found a field, and there's the road at Red Mill, and we kind of lost the trail. I didn't see any blazes or signs. We're supposed to cross that road. So I guess we're kind of going to try to wander around and figure out where we're going. Hope the we down part is. Because we don't have any water. Yeah, I left the water at home. Okay, well, we found the trail, and Kristen was clever, so there's where we came out, right over there, and if you look at the road, there's some dots on the road, and they're on that side of the road, and there must be a dot on one of those trees over there, because this is where it is, and then there's a dot on that tree behind Kristen, and there's our trail, and... We got a little confused at first, so it's a little confused. You don't definitely, you definitely don't look to this way and see it when you first come out of there, so. But now we're back in the wild. Now we're back on it, and had we just crossed that field that we were in, it's actually right over there. So, that's where we're at. And look how green it is. Along the trail. Where are we? At some lake. We're at a lake. I think we've made it to the connector part of the lake, so I think this is some edge of Falls Lake. We're six and a half in on my watch. Seven point something. Seven point oh seven. On Kristen's. And, uh, there's some telephone wires. And there's the lake behind us. Pretty cool because there's telephone wires. You can see it's like swamp all the way down through there. So I should have got a video from when we got started, but we were back there a ways, and the whole thing, the lake must be up, and it's all flooded. So we, we kind of came through some of these woods and we could tell by the map that it made a horseshoe. So we kind of circled around back to the trail if we had just cut a line straight across. And so we're trying to, yeah, we're just doing a little bit of trailblazing to try to get on and then we spotted the bridges up here from the woods and we got back on the trail. But we were a little nervous because we didn't know how far we were gonna have to go. Now we're back on the trail. There's our blaze. Not buzzing. These electrical poles. We're crossing over here. These, there's that train track. We're just pumping electricity out that way. We're on the MST still, and we are getting close for maybe less than three miles from the car. And we ran into another roadblock. The trail's supposed to go, we think, that way, down there, that way. Uh, and there's a road and a parking lot, maybe less than a football field up there. But we have to get our way around this somehow. So not yet. We're just gonna creep along the edge of the water here and uh, hope that we can get across. Well, there was our trail covered in water. We just came from back through the woods. We hiked all the way around on the outside of that water. So 
saw the bridge, and our path goes up the way over there. So. A little sunk, it's a little flooded. Oh, 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 yeah, it looks like it's about to sink at every moment. I like your heel strategy, that's good. Going, there's the old airfield, we're right beside US 15, and the Lack of water is getting to us, but we should only have about a mile or so to go, hopefully. Finally, <laughs> we finally made it. Water. We gotta find my car now. So here we are, man. It's a parking lot. The other part of the trail is over there. That's where we'll start some other day. But now we're gonna go get some water it back we got water got our lunch we're sitting in the back of my car and just having a good view of the lake it's a nice sunny day quiet calm it's a good fish good job